Hi, this is Hugh Wang with the, the Home Loan Source. Um, so you're thinking about purchasing or refinancing your home. The first step would be uh, to send over some, to gather some documents. And today we're gonna go over the documents to uh, go ahead and prepare and send over, okay? So I, on the board here, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but uh, if you need a, a list of it, don't worry, I'll, be, uh, go ahead, I'll, I'll go ahead and send you the email as well. However, so if you're an S or a C corporation, uh, what you want to send over is um, you're, you probably pay yourself. So two most recent uh, pay subs, uh, 15 and 16 W-2s, uh, 15 and 16 1040s. The 1040s are basically the federal tax returns. I don't need, uh, we don't need the, the state portion of it. So just from page one all the way till the end or till the beginning of the, uh, the state tax returns. And then 15 and 16 uh, corporate tax returns. Um, also include the, uh, the K-1 as well. And also two most recent bank statements, all pages, okay? And prefer, preferably don't uh, cross out the account number because the underwriters, they, they, don't, they don't accept that if you cross out the, um, the account number. And then the, uh, if you're a sole proprietor, which means that you file a Schedule C, go ahead and send over. Um, you're not gonna have, um, you're not gonna have pay stubs unless you're a wage earner as well. But go ahead and send over the 15 and 16 1040s. Again, just the federal tax returns and also two most recent bank statements. Um, now, if you're a wage earner, that means that you work for a specific company. Oh, the other thing too is that if you, if say um, you're the husband and you're a sole proprietor, go ahead and use this section. Now, if uh, your your significant other or your spouse is a wage earner, go ahead and use this section over here. Okay. So if you're a wage earner, then uh, two most recent pay stubs uh, to make it a month, uh, 15 and 16 W-2s, uh, 15 and 16 1040s. Again, that's just the uh, federal tax returns, and then also two most recent bank statements. Um, if you're doing it together, then just go ahead and send over one set of bank statements wherever the money is going to be coming from. Okay, and then uh, if you have any questions, my phone number is uh, 714-352-0808. Let me go ahead and switch around here. And then uh, for refinances, basically uh, if it's for refinance, in addition to these uh, documents over here, go ahead and send over the uh, most uh, recent mortgage statement, um, the insurance declaration page, um, the HOA statement, if applicable, um, a lot of uh, single family residents they usually don't have uh, HOAs. However, condos, mostly all condos have HOAs. And then nowadays they have PUDs, what's called planned unit development with an HOA as well. So if that's applicable to you, go ahead and send in your, um, your HOA statement, okay? And you can email it to Hugh, H-U-G-H, at thehomeloansource.net. And then uh, fax number is 714. 882-7377. Again, uh, my phone number, if you need to reach me, my direct line is 714-352-0808. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day.